guys, it's Hill. So today I'm gonna be doing the silicone challenge, uh, silicone blender challenge, and I'm gonna show you um, the difference between using a silicone blender and the brush. Um, lately, I've been using the brush. I was using Wet n Wild all over foundation brush, but I saw a lot of videos with people using the silicone sponge, and I saw how clean you can get the sponge after you use it and how better it puts the makeup on and honestly with the brush it's been gunking up and it gets really gross you gotta shampoo it every single time so and I also bought this new thing my lip tint pack uh, where you put like you put it on it's like a goo and then you peel it off so we're gonna be doing that today um, so first I'm gonna share with everybody I use number seven stay perfect and this is my shade toffee so if you really want a good foundation I, I suggest investing in that because it's all it has um, all skin type coverage um, everything's in there it's like like powder foundation concealer and it's you can get it for about 20 bucks so let's start um, okay, got my little mirror okay. so now I use just one squirt of this and even that is too much for my face but I use that much um, with with the brush I used to have to use like two pumps in this and that's just wasting my makeup okay so again we're gonna do half of it half of my face with the sponge half with the brush Gonna try to get this as even as I can. And you see that you can um, you can go like this, or you can do this. I tend to do everything. Oh, I want a little bit of my eyebrow. Okay. Okay. Done on one side. Now let's do the other. Whoa. I think I got makeup in my eye. <laughs> yep, I, I can see the makeup in my eye. Okay, just gonna touch up the silicone side. Whoops, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. And done. Um, I like to keep these handy. And look, now we're going to clean it up. Oh, my eye. Now we're going to clean it up. Look. So this is what I used. Brand new. Whereas the brush, you know, it's not really getting in there. It's not getting all the stuff out, and it can harbor bacteria. Again, it's all on your preference. Um, I can't tell you what to use, but I definitely recommend the silicone sponge. You could get them on eBay for like 89 cents, um, and you get these cute little prints on them. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend the sponge. Um, so now we're gonna be so yeah, this side is the sponge and this side is the brush So you guys can be the judge and tell me which one you like better um, So now I'm gonna show you how to use my lip tint pack um, I always suggest moisturizing your lip first because me I tend to break out like it peels here it peels at the bottom I hate that Do not moisturize too much because then it's not gonna stick very light Even that's too much, so. Okay. Okay, see? Look at this. Sweet. It takes a while to calm down. Whoa! <laughs> Almost dropped it. Oh, guys, Liz is on camera. I forgot to introduce her. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, ready? Give me a second, just trying to get it down. Do not, do not go sappy. I've seen a lot of girls, they just ooze in, it's like dripping like blood. Do not do that. Definitely try to draw your lip with it. Okay, try to get it as perfect as you can to your lip. And you gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry. Trust me, try to keep talking, but keep your mouth open when it dries. Cause this morning I put it on and I kept my mouth shut. And when the 15 minutes was up and I tried to open it, it felt like my lips were super glued. Um, sorry guys, my eye. It felt like my lip was super glued and I had to like peel my lip off. <laughs> it didn't hurt. Um, it has a lip plumper in this. So if you're looking for um, it's in Japanese or Chinese writing, but um, when I purchased it, when I did purchase it, it said that it comes with a lip plumper in it. So it, you can feel it tingling, gets your lips a little fat. Um, oh, and this, it can last up to 12 hours, so you can kiss, eat, drink, and it's not going to wear off, unless you use a makeup wipe to get it off. Um, so that you can see it, it's like sort of stick like <laughs> It looks gross, I know. Um, oh, and like I said, it gives you a tint, but I choose to just get like a clear lip gloss. And I just put that on to kind of give it a little, you know, a little cute thing. Um, and I think when you talk, it like dries faster because it's like your hot breath is like, <laughs> is drying it all up. Let me just check on it. See, because of me talking, look at this. It's almost there. Oh, I can't wait to peel it. This morning, guys, I went outside after I did it, right? 
I peeled it. And I noticed that I felt something weird like on the both corners of my mouth. I look in my car mirror and I saw that I had two big chunks of it still on my lip. <laughs> Thank God I didn't take any pictures because that would have been embarrassing. Um, uh. Oh, and this is the makeup wipes I use. Um, it's called Aurora. They're, they're actually pretty good. I didn't buy them. I got them for free. Got them for free. Um, but they've actually been good. It's uh, not alcohol based at all. It um, and it cleanses your skin and everything. It says that it gives you like a radiant glow and all of that. It works great. My face feels moisturized after. So there you have it guys. So here today was my silicone makeup brush challenge along with my lip tint. Hope you guys like it and tell me which side you like better.